Anything is possible. Together we are unstoppable. Anything is possible. You can remove all obstacles. Anything is possible. Together we are unstoppable. Grit. Relentless. Committed. In the last 12 months, I think I've done a really good job personally growing at staying in the moment and being present. And I'm now at the point in my career where I realize I probably only have, you know, four or five years left. And so for me, it's just about appreciating these moments. So yeah, being in the moment and committed to the process, which sounds kind of cliche because they're like the most basic triathlon things ever, but I'm not one to follow the rules. So <laughs> I'm starting now. <laughs> in the past, I've um, put so much pressure on this race. It's like Kona's the end all be all. I've let it define my year. And then I come here and maybe don't have races that I feel that I'm capable of or fall short of expectations. And I mean, I talked about this last year in the video and you just leave the island heartbroken. And so for me, I wanted to race more frequently this year and not put all the pressure and monkey in the barrel into this race. Um, that's not to say I don't love Kona and I'm not obsessed with it and it's not the race that gets me out of bed every day because it totally is. But it goes back to what I was talking about earlier of just like being in the moment. So for me, it was um, racing Ironman Brazil, all about Ironman Brazil. And then for me, after Brazil, it was like, okay, we're all about Ironman Canada and just focused on that. And then after Ironman Canada, it's all right, we're all about Hawaii. It's kind of um, interesting to look back now, like I come to the island and you are full of memories and good times and bad times and funny times. And um, it's just comforting here. There's, um, I mean, I guess also like socially, there's so many friends and people that you meet and get to see throughout the year, but um, you don't necessarily get to see them. And then in Kona, they all converge in one place. So it's like the triathlon wedding <laughs> where all your friends and family are there. <laughs> but yeah. for me at Canada, which was one of my better performances, all I did was worry about me. And so um, if I can just go race and worry about myself and execute a plan that I know I'm capable of, um, I'll be stoked because I think that'll put me definitely back in the top 10, which is where I want to be. If the leader's in the energy lab at the same time of me, I'm pumped. Like, that means I'm having a good race. So.